In this class we are going to discuss about XS3 edition. This is under XS3 arithmetic. So now for example if you are having any two XS3 numbers, if you ask to find out what is the addition of that XS3 numbers, then you have to follow some steps for XS3 edition. So see here the steps includes first thing we, we need to do take XS3 code for both decimal numbers. So anyone will give you two decimal numbers then you, you will be asked to find out what is the XS3 addition result. So you are asking for XS3 addition that is why you need to take XS3 code for both the numbers given. So take XS3 code for decimal numbers given and then add that XS3 codes and then if carry is there in that addition result if you generated any carry then add 3 for that result otherwise you just subtract 3 from that. So this is somewhat similar like BCD addition in BCD addition we are doing like if carry generated or greater than 9 we are treating that as error BCD but in XS3 addition only carry case carry generated case is treated as error XS3 that is uh, corrected with addition of 3. The bits which are not in error also subtracted by using 3. So for example after addition you got 2 bits for 1 bit it generated carry and other bit it is not uh, generating carry. Whatever the bit generated carry that is treated as wrong XS3 code then we are adding 3 for correction. And next bit, it is not having any carry, so treated as right. Even though that is right, in XS3 addition case, we need to subtract 3 from that. If any bits having carry, we need to add 3. If any bits haven't carry, so we need to subtract 3. This is the main steps we have to follow. These are the main steps we have to follow while doing XS3 addition. Let me take an example to for better understanding I am taking add 4 and 8 I want to add 4 and 8 we know that what is the result of addition of 4 and 8 if we added 2 decimal numbers that is 4 plus 8 we are going to get 12. So here add 4 and 8 by using XS3 addition then definitely you have to take these decimals in XS3 only. So now I am taking XS3 code for 4. So the XS3 code for 4 will be 4 plus 3. For, uh, we need to take value equivalent to 4 plus 3 that means 7. So 7 will be the XS3 code for 4. So for 7 I am taking the binary equivalent is 0, 1. this is 7 and then for 8 this is also I need to take in XS3 form. Why we are taking in XS3 form means we need to do XS3 addition of these two decimal numbers. So here for 8 what will be the XS3 means 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 means 11. So here 11. 11 means in binary we can write 11 as 1011. So if you have any doubt in decoding then just put 8421 as reference. So see here at 8 plus you are having 1 at 2 plus and 1 plus. 8 plus 2 plus 1 nothing but 11. So like this we can decode. Okay we take an XS3 for both 4 and 8. Now we need to add these two. I am doing second step here. So see here I am doing second step. So by normal addition process 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 with carry 1. Again 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1. Again 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1. You got carry. So then I told you if carry is there then I add 3. So here I given you. If carry is there then add 3. So for this carry bit also you need to add 3. 
so please keep in mind whatever final carry bit is there you are treating that as next bit so you need to add for that carry also you need to add 3 for that carry also so you just uh, take this as one bit this bunch of 4 bit as one code and second is second bit in that code so here so as this is having carry so you need to add 3 for this and for this one also whatever carry is there also so for this bit also you need to add 1 3 you need to add 3 so after adding these two what you are going to get see so see here here is 2 here is 3 by adding these two you are going to get 5 5 means 0 1 0 1 see here 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 with that carry you are adding you are going to get 1 like that so see here so 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 so here 1 and 0 1 plus 3 you are getting 4 directly you can take so so after adding 3 you are going to get this thing so now i am going to evaluate i am going to evaluate what is the value equivalent to this xs3 result now see here so this is nothing but 4 this is nothing but 5 so after adding 4 and 8 in xs3 addition you got result 4 5 is this a right answer or not we have to cross check as you are doing xs3 addition the result is also in xs3 if you want to cross check the result in decimal you need to take the decimal equivalent of this xs3 code for example 4 is there if you are saying 4 is xs3 for what for what 4 is xs3 for 1 4 is xs3 right why because for 1 if you are adding 3 then only you are getting 4 right if 4 we are saying is xs3 then 1 will be its actual decimal equivalent then here see here here you are having 5 so this 5 may be xs3 of 2 so if 5 is xs3 number so for what it is xs3 means for 2 5 will be the xs3 so 4 5 in xs3 is equivalent to 12 in decimal what we have to get 4 plus 8 same 12 we need to get but in exams they will ask like this if you are adding 4 and 8 then what will be the xs3 addition result xs3 addition result means definitely so you just no need to do all this procedure in gate like exams you just do like this so they given 4 plus 8 right actual result we need to get 12 but when you done xs3 addition process result is not 12 xs3 of 12 you will get so xs3 of 12 means for 1 xs3 is 4 for 2 xs3 is 5 4 5 you are just decoding in binary you are writing that may be the xs3 addition result of 4 and 8 no need to do all this procedure in uh, exams like gate and uh, ES like this you just take 4 plus 8 12 as you are doing xs3 addition definitely at the end you are going to get xs3 addition result that means for 12 you are going to get xs3 so this is the result you are going to get by using xs3 addition by using same steps we can find so many addition results by using xs3 addition